Ah, oh, so they were twins, were they? I know how that goes. I'm a twin myself, you know. I must have dreamed up a hundred different ways to kill Ludovico. I'll be honest, eaten alive by the queen of the brain slugs wasn't on that list. Is that so strange? I imagine this moment would be a little more cathartic. But Belinda's still gone, and I don't feel all that different. I can't go back to the way things were. I can't return to my old life because it was never my life to begin with. It was shared. <laughs> never mind, you don't need to listen to this. Thank you again for your help, Captain. I never would have made it this far without you. Welcome back, Captain. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? During your absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited, and my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. My simulations have yielded several possible causes of death, Halcyon Helen may have been killed by one or all of the following. Asphyxiating on Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. Grappling with a primal while inebriated. Killed by an overzealous fan. Death by automechanical. Or profound loneliness. How close were my estimations? Please do so. Administrator Ludovico killed Halcyon Helen? I have been programmed to simulate contempt and mild surprise. Mr. Ludovico had the audacity to hire you to solve a murder he committed? I am contemptuous and mildly surprised. This information is valuable to me. I will update my behavior simulation protocol accordingly. Thank you, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Mm-hmm. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me, in the event that you do not return. I can make the assurance that I will not leave with another Captain unless you do not return within 876,541,652 hours. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Your ship is not permitted to leave until you remit payment for your fines and submit yourself to execution. Only after your smoking corpse is thrown from an airlock will we lift the lockdown on your spacecraft. Captain, I would not recommend this course of action. 
Protocol is important, sir. The sentencing of one crime does not preclude the sentencing of another, technically speaking. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're gonna have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. How can I be of assistance? I'll be here. Captain did right by us once. Now it's our turn. The board will never own Groundbreaker. Not while I breathe. Push on, Mardat! Still trusting your plan on that one, Captain. Let's look around. There's gotta be a few ways through here.
Let's look around. There's got to be a few ways through here. troops. Let's Stellar base is counting on us.
After all you've done, all the work you've destroyed, all the money you've cost me, your misguided crusade has doomed Halcyon. That crackpot's plan is ludicrous. We have steps, action items, budgets, and reports. All he's got is a guilty conscience and lofty dreams. In any other circumstance, I'd admire your boldness. In this one, however, I have only two words for you. Fuck off. How dare you? Even thinking about killing the chairman of the Halcyon board is a felony. Thankfully, you're in a prison already. Find the nearest cell and wait until I'm done here. Then I'll drag you to the executioner myself. Is that what you think you're doing? This path of wanton societal disruption? You call that being a savior? I call it sabotage. You know what saboteurs get, Captain? Summary executions. In the next room is the finest auto-mechanical purveyor of death ever made. Try not to scratch the paint with your skull. It was fucking expensive. You don't know how glad I am to see you. You lunatic. You broke into the board's own fortress and killed the chairman just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind, and I can't begin to thank you enough. Ah, all in a day's work for you, huh? You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated.
I would like nothing more than to celebrate this victory, but we have a serious problem on our hands. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. Earth is only an idea to us, but that idea is the bedrock the colony is built upon. If people were to find out it's gone dark, the shock could be too much to bear. I don't want to imagine what'll happen once news gets out. Let's just keep this between us for now. You mean... we're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. Yes, yes, certainly. I'll help however I can. I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. I don't even know if Earth exists anymore. We have no connection back to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We're completely alone out here. You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. They were returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years ago. We haven't heard a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you, but after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. Each of my subjects died in agony. You are my first and only success. I didn't tell you about the others because I didn't want to burden you. My failures are my own to bear, not yours. Thank you. Perhaps in time I'll learn to forgive myself. My apologies. I need to get a hold of myself. We've far more pressing issues to worry about right now. If you have any more questions, ask me. I'll answer as best I can. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds, and then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens from the moment the dis-